three month stay is coming to an end. It's our last full weekend at Carolina Pines. And of course, look what's opening up next weekend. They got it all ready, even have the music going now. Yeah, we're gonna miss it. We're here for this weekend, then we're heading back actually Tuesday. Gonna stay the night, and then on Wednesday, we're heading out down to Destin. Oh well, but we'll be back at some point this summer. All right, well, let's get the day started here. Maddie's on break from school, lunch break, so we're uh, riding around a little bit. And look at this conversion bus. Happy homebodies. Pretty cool. It's supposed to be sunny and 85 today, so we went from a high of 50 last weekend with rain and wind to a high of 85 this weekend. And the pollen has started. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that on the golf cart, but there is a layer of pollen. Making Maddie a baked potato here with some butter. Of course, those bacon crumbles from Costco. And some sour cream. Hope she enjoys it. Man's work is never done. Dishwashing time. This weekend. It's a little windy again. So we're gonna spend a little bit of this weekend kind of getting ready for our trip. We'll be heading out on Tuesday, so I'm checking the tire pressure. Got my monitor here. I'm waiting for it to uh, get all the signals from the tires. Looks like I got three signals here out of the four tires and actually the pressure I guess because it's warm it's a little bit higher than it was before so I'm gonna probably let air out of yeah out of three of the tires the fourth one just kicked in here fourth tire looking like the uh, driver side rear tire is at 116 psi supposed to be at 123 so I got two tires at 125 one at 123 and then one at 116 so let's let a little air out of a couple tires and put some air in one of them let's get that done here one small issue where the tires are located right now I got the steps in the way and the slide luckily these two tires are at 123 and 124, so I'm going to go ahead and leave them there. Let's check the other side. Got the same issue over here. Slides out, so it's going to be a little difficult to climb under there, but we'll do it. So you can see here, it's telling me the front tire here is at 125, so we will let a little bit of air out of that. And the back tire, it's blinking there, is at 116, so we'll try to add a little air to that one. I'm just going to use my little pancake compressor says it'll get up to 150 PSI, so hopefully we'll be able to do that. Most cars only take around 35 pounds. My truck takes 80, but I've never come close to 123 pounds, so let's try this here. I'm gonna show Maddie what to do here. It is a pain in the butt to get under here. I know this is gonna take a while to catch up, so I'm just gonna do a little quick tap on this tire here. See if it catches up. We want to get down to 123. Where do you want? First, take that green cap off. Oh, okay. Twist it, twist it. Yeah, watch your head. And, stuff. and then you're just going to push this on. Push on. Please don't let air out. Like I said, we're just going to take our time because it's going to take a while for this thing to catch up. Oh, it's a little humid out here. I got some sweat going here. That compressor did an okay job. It was good for about 30, 45 seconds worth of air before it dropped below 120 and then obviously wasn't putting enough in. So it took me a good 45 minutes of slowly putting air in, letting air out of the other tires, and then not only waiting for the compressor to catch up, but also waiting for the uh, monitor to catch up. I don't even have a tire gauge that would go to the 123 pounds, so I had to keep using the monitor. So I'd have to turn it off and reset it to get it to uh, catch up. But we're good to go. So on to the next project here. All right, next project. I'm going to take this shelf out. 
it's something you got to lift up and move over the suburban griddle they gave us fits on it but it's heavy it gets in the way of the door i keep hitting trying to get it back in there and of course it hides everything in there so i'm just going to take this whole thing out and we'll just cook on the table and that way i got better access and i might even put a shelf in here to give me more access at some point that's the next project what this is going to be. There we go. Now look at the access. No more having to swing that out to get into the fridge or anything else. And like I said, we'll just use this table to cook on. We're back at the camper. We just got back from a little shopping. And it's getting a little dark outside. So guess what time it is? It's time for my long list, Charlie Moe, the man who invented beer, 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 tiddly beer, 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 beer. Let's see what we're gonna go with. How about a thunderstruck coffee porter from Highland Brewery? coffee porter. Let's give it a try. Yeah, just a little hint of coffee. It's definitely a porter though. Good Saturday morning to you. Had a little bit of rain. Maybe it'll clear up for a while. Look at the pollen. You're from up north. You'll recognize this as snow. We're gonna go for a nice brisk walk and then get our day started. something exciting this field is where the uh, lazy river was supposed to go and it was delayed but by the looks of things they're working on it so maybe when we get back here at the end of the summer we'll have a nice lazy river to relax in we'll see on our little walk here I noticed looks like some sort of prehistoric antelope kind of animal Look at this, a deer maybe, left its print. Look at that fossilized print. That's gotta be some sort of prehistoric animal. I don't know, maybe. Coming down the home stretch is the cap of our fifth wheel. Last one you see there. Will we make it? Hopefully. Whew, back from our walk, kind of humid out. Not real hot, but humid. I don't know if you guys ever noticed my friend right here. This lump on my shoulder. Family makes fun of me. It's gotten so big. So, went to the doctors. They're gonna remove it, nothing major. Just, uh, I don't remember the name of it, but just a, a growth that many people get. But I'm gonna have that removed in about three weeks. She said the scar should be minimal. So that'd be kind of nice to not have my little friend Sometimes I have my best conversations with that guy, so I don't know what I'm gonna do in a few weeks. We'll see. Listen to John Goodman. What a classic. He just got stung by a bee and he's overreacting in court. You gotta love some of these animated movies. Lunchtime, we're gonna try these plant-based impossible burgers. Don had a coupon, we got them for free, so hey, why not give it a try? We are going to use the Phillips Infrared Grill, indoor grill, smokeless. Let's get these burgers going. Here we go, some tasty hot dogs and 
I don't know how tasty Impossible Burgers. Excuse Maddie, she's taking uh, some medicine and doesn't like swallowing pills. Looks like ground beef. Doesn't smell like ground beef. Oops. So I had it on the warm session. You left the paper on them. Infrared is so blind and you didn't see the paper. Oops. <laughs> If you watch some of our past videos, you've seen us use this before. It actually works great. I'll put a link below to Amazon if you want to pick one up yourself, but it does work great. I would have showed you lunch, but it was gone like that. Those Impossible Burgers are actually pretty good. They really do have like a meaty texture to them. Let me show you with the grill here. I mean, pretty easy cleanup. Look, got the pan down there that pulls out. This, of course, is non-stick. Poor little Maddie doesn't feel good today, so leave her a comment. Tell her how you're thinking about her, please. All right, we're going to go outside and enjoy the day. Take a little golf cart ride in the middle of the day here. It, the day is beautiful. And we see some stuff going on here. They're working diligently on the, hopefully still, the uh, lazy river here. What better time than now to give a shout out to one of our biggest fans, Bradley Ellis. How you doing? Thanks for watching and thanks for meeting up with us here at Carolina Pines and we'll see you again on the road. Yeah. We've kind of gotten infatuated with riding around and looking for rocks like these. We found some, none of these we found today. RVing rocks. is a family stand here that paints them up and sets them around. And she put on the fan page that they were gonna have some this weekend, but we haven't found any. We, get, we just can't stop running around looking for them though. We're gonna take them down to Destin with us and put them around that campground that we're at. Maybe we'll start painting some up ourselves and putting our YouTube channel on them, maybe our Facebook page. So that way when people find them, they can go on our comments or go on our Facebook and just say where they found them and put them somewhere else and follow the rocks around the country. All right, we're gonna try some funnel cakes here. Watch it doesn't splatter. Ooh, so cool, said 30 seconds, it's been a minute. I know, but it looks like, um, see how it's kind of still, Fine. See, oh. Okay. Oh, all right, right on to my fancy rocks. Uh, you know what I put there, Colin? It's supposed to be brown. seconds. That, that drizzles off the chain. Ah. Maddie's gonna try the first one. First bite of the funnel. Good. Does it taste like a? There we go. Vaughn did it. The carnival funnel cakes. Link in the description below if you want to buy that uh, Carnival Funnel Cake mix from Amazon. Here we go. Funnel Cake number two. Oh, good morning, Sunday morning. We are heading out. Reality is setting in. We've been here for three months on the weekends. We've come every weekend and have had a blast, made good friends. But this is our final weekend. We will be here for a couple days to get ready to go to Destin, but reality is setting in and it kind of stinks. We're gonna get Rocky loaded up in the back of the truck and take him home. We gave a couple bikes away to Vaughn and Beth, and uh, we're gonna bring some other things home. So when we come on Tuesday, we'll be ready to head out to Florida. So we went over to their campsite last night, hung out for a while. Vaughn made dinner. Thanks, Vaughn. It was great. We made those um, funnel cakes. That was fun. And they actually tasted, kind of remind you of being at a fair. So it was a good last evening here. And we will see them again. We'll be back here again. We're still thinking about doing the three-month thing back, you know, in October if they offer it. I don't know if they're going to offer it, but if they do, we'll, we'll probably do that. All right. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell, one of these corners. Comment, 
love reading all the comments and we will uh see you probably at our overnight stop in florida we're gonna stop for a night so we may kind of do a review of that campground we will see you soon i guess thanks again bye bye